Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm working on a very large canvas tonight. This is a 24 by 36 inch canvas. I did a pour uh, back in September, uh, which is like seven or eight months ago, I guess, because this is June. Um, I, I did a pour that I called Jellyfish Pearls and I loved it. I made up a huge tub of pearl pour mix um, using satin enamels and in, in uh, titanium white, all that kind of stuff, thinned down to the perfect consistency. And you know what? I set up on the shelf and completely forgot to do any more of them. I'm going to fix that today. Um, I, I was doing a little bit of reorganizing, not cleaning. My, my studio is still just as messy as it was before. <laughs> But I wasn't, you know, moving some things around and trying to uh, get a little, uh, rid of some of the clutter. And I came across this pearl pour mix and I was like, oh my God, I have to do that again. So I have a, a big cup of this. Um, this. Since it was several months old, I did go ahead, I stirred it and then I strained it. Um, and I'm glad I did because it had some flow troll in it. So it did uh, clump up, had some goobers in it. So I'm glad that I did that. So hopefully I got them all, but I've got um, enough here for uh, a 24 by 36 inch canvas. I need about 30 ounces of that mix. And this is 32 once I've strained it all. So that should be plenty. I also have, uh, I'm going fairly um, minimal with my color palette here, kind of a, 4th of July theme now that I look at it here. So I've got Carmen Red from Amsterdam and I have Thalo Blue from Amsterdam. And then I have some 24 karat gold from Deco Art, which I will use sparingly because this paint is super thin. So it will spread out a lot. I will use the Carmen to show you that consistency. This is even thinner than I would use for a Dutch pour. It leaves absolutely no mount at all. It sinks directly into um, the uh, the paint when you drizzle off the stir stick. Um, it leaves no trace whatsoever. It immediately um, goes right back in. And when I stir it around, I, I feel almost no resistance. This is almost like water. Very, very thin. So I'm hoping I'll get some good results with this. And let me just double check that my camera is refocusing. I have learned my lesson. Yes, there we go. Okay, looks good. So I'm gonna put down a puddle of my pearl mix, and then I'm going to drizzle these other colors into it. Uh, I'm gonna try and do something kind of a, something swirly. I want lots of motion in this. So, and I will overlap those colors and we'll pour them one at a time, overlap those colors. So hopefully my red and my blue will give me some purple. Um, with some pretty gold highlights, and then I hope we get some really cool jellyfish pearls. So we are gonna go ahead and get started.
And here we have the wet results from my pearl pour. I really, really love it. I love this little uh, motion that I added in when I was tilting. Uh, really, really pretty. I did get some purple, which is great. This um, phthalo blue appears quite bright blue at the moment, but um, these sections here where it's really quite vivid will dry very, very dark. That is one of the beautiful things about that. I love these little tiny pearls. I got lots and lots of little tiny pearls. Look at that. And I love, I was a little worried about that gold, but look at this section here. So pretty. Ooh, and this section over here. Ooh, I like that a lot. And I think that I've waited about 20 minutes here. I think this is going to continue to develop with the pearls. Look at those, so cute. Those don't look like jellyfish as much as they do popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> different every time or little brains I just love them they're so cool so many interesting things to see in this one everywhere you look I love how some sections are really quite soft and then you have sections like this where the color is still quite bold really really pretty some in interesting pearls up in here kind of wonky shapes <laughs> I really, really like it. I hope you like this too. Uh, unfortunately, I won't have dry results before I post this, so I will include that in my next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and come back and see me sometime.